Hey everybody, Antoinette here. Today I'm gonna to talk about five ways that you can make a confident first impression. Because first impressions are formed in about seven seconds. So do these five things, you will not only appear confident on the outside, but you're gonna actually feel more confident on the inside. The first step to making a confident first impression is through warm eye contact. Notice, I said warm eye contact because if you're the type of person that has really intense eye contact, that can be overbearing and most likely is going to be really uncomfortable when you're meeting somebody for the very first time or approaching a group for the very first time. You see, the reason why I bring this up is because there are a lot of people out there who are really uncomfortable when they don't know people to initiate eye contact. And so they avoid it as long as possible. But here's what you're relaying whenever you're avoiding eye contact. The other person thinks that either you are uncomfortable or the other person thinks that you really don't care to engage with them. So by initiating that warm eye contact, it is definitely a sign of confidence. How do you develop warm eye contact? Just tell yourself internally, I am curious about the person that I'm getting ready to meet or have a conversation with. Look at them like you're curious to learn more. And if you think those things internally, it's gonna come across through warm eye contact. The second way to make a confident first impression is by whenever you are seeing the person that you're going to meet or you're approaching a group, is to smile. And I bring this up for two reasons. Number one, you don't wanna just have a smile plastered on your face. I actually know some people who do this. I think they're, they're programmed it in their brain that they need to smile, so they're always smiling. And when you're always smiling, it, it takes the personalization out of it. So the person that you're greeting doesn't feel like it's anything special because you maintain that same facial expression all the time. So whenever you are getting ready to approach them to then break into a smile, it feels so much more personal in that situation. And then also I bring this up because sometimes whenever you are feeling uncomfortable, whenever you're feeling like you're out of your comfort zone, we get that expression on our face that looks like we're very uncomfortable or looks like we don't want to be approached. So by just, by just parting your lips, looking curious, and when you're getting ready to approach the person, then break into a smile, that will make a great impression. Number three is approach others first. You take the initiative. So many times we stand back and we expect others to come to us. Confident people don't do that. Confident people take the initiative. So being able to walk up to a group or walk up to a person and approach them first is a true sign of confidence. Even if you're not feeling confident on the inside, you do it and you'll feel more confident afterwards. The fourth way to make a confident first impression is by taking the initiative again and introducing yourself. Remember this, the confident person always introduces themselves first. People who lack confidence normally do not do this. They just don't do it at all, or they want the other person to do the introduction. And the longer you wait until one of you introduces yourselves, the more, uh, the more awkward it can feel. So take the initiative, do it, and do it early on in the conversation. Now, before I get to number five, I do want to refer to a video that I did up above as well as in the description below that talks about ways that you can leave a positive impression on others. So this is once you have established a conversation and then you're getting ready to leave, how do you leave making a positive impression on others? So let's get to number five. Number five is make sure and focus the conversation on the other person. Don't feel like you're there to try to impress them. Whenever you're trying to impress somebody, it really shows that you're lacking confidence in yourself 
because it's as if you need affirmation. You need to prove to the other person that you have value, or you need to prove to the other person your accomplishments or, or everything about you. Don't make it about you. Make it about the other person, and they're going to see you as self-confident. Now, if you have liked this video, I hope that you will press like, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.